Self-defense myth number two. Uh, women only seminars that happen once a year. If they're held by somebody who has a good reputation and they're worth going uh, as a way of topping up your skill set that you already have, if you only go to one once a year, it's not going to be enough. You're essentially just wasting your money. Go somewhere for four, four hours on a, on a Saturday afternoon once a year, come away going, great, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's just setting you up to fall. You need to go over this skill set. You need to practice it regularly, even if it's only once a week. If you go once a week somewhere where you work the pads, where you go once a week for an hour or so, where you go over desensitizing yourself to naked aggression, where you've got someone stood a foot in front of you going, I'm going to rip your face off. It just keeps you in with it. So if you, if you do that and then you top it off once a year with a seminar of someone who's reputable, that's fantastic. Just going once a year and that, that be it isn't enough. Um, there's a great story by Jeff Thompson in his book, Watch My Back. Dead or Alive, I'll link both both reviews that I've done under here. It was Dead or Alive, which is probably the greatest self-defense book uh, ever written. He mentions how a woman was filming in a, a radio show in Coventry. And she said, now that I've been on that self-defense seminar, I feel much more confident using a shortcut through the park at night alone. If she'd been taught properly, she wouldn't still be using the shortcut. Yeah, this is, this is the problem with one-off seminars. Um, the idea that they'll show you a couple of techniques where you, you use the attacker's momentum against you. That's fantastic. If you like the idea of that, I strongly suggest you get into judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Certainly judo, which is, is all about pulling when, when the guy comes at you. It's using the momentum against you. That is judo in its purest form. If you've only been to one seminar where you go to the seminar and you're wearing flat trainers and you're on a flat smooth surface, that's going to be a world apart from when you're out and about and you try to do that, where the person who's coming at you isn't coming at you in a straight line, where you're wearing heels on a cobble street or a slippery street, whatever it might be, if the other person isn't wearing clothing that you can take a grip on. So there's that, there's the whole thing of the improvised weapons with, you know, use the spray, uh, use your keys, these things will be covered in, a, in, a, in another video. Keys is, is self-defense when they say put them between your knuckles and that's just absolute nonsense. All that happens is you end up tearing up your own hand. There's a lot that gets taught on women's self-defense seminars that is absolute nonsense that will just give you a false sense of security. Um, I've seen them, they usually finish off with the guy in, I call it the bullet suit, but it's the full body suit with the big helmet and everything. And they whack, 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 and then after a certain amount of whacks, the guy will just fall over. No, that doesn't work. You need to keep, keep going to several of them. You need to look at what is everybody else teaching. So I can understand with certain things with with the, with the women's self defense seminar. We uh, it's, it's a Lee Morrison phrase where he says, "Imagine a powerlifter trying to pick up a cap, and the cap just starts scratching the hell out of the powerlifter's face, and he's just oh, sod it. It's not worth it." That should be the mentality of women's self defense seminars. It should be be ferocious for a small burst and then run like hell. It shouldn't be about teaching women. I'm a strong, confident woman. You can't bully me. That's that's the wrong psychology, that's the wrong setup, and it's the wrong setup for any type of self-defense class. We shouldn't be teaching people, I'm fearless now, you won't do this to me. It should be a case of if you see the danger, you acknowledge your fear, you acknowledge it's it's not safe to go there. There's a lot of, of self-defense classes for women that tend to use this phrase, empowerment. It's, it's going to empower women. In the, that's No. I'm, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not here to empower you, I'm not a life coach, I'm not here to give you self-confidence, I'm here to give you techniques that you can be confident will keep you safe, as long as you're smart about what you do. So if you go looking for a fight, because I've been on this seminar, you're going to get your head smashed in. So, another self-defense myth is you can go on, on, on this women-only specific women for women, techniques just catered specifically for women, and it will keep you safe. It won't. Women-only seminars are good once in a while to top up your current training. Obviously, if the, if the tutor is uh, reputable, then going to them and actually paying attention is better than nothing. I will just say, if you do go to a seminar, you should be allowed to film it. Unless they're filming it themselves to sell a, a DVD or if they're filming it to stream on their own website or something, then it might be different. But if it's just like a private function, there is absolutely no reason why you should not be allowed to film. Certainly when the instructor is explaining the techniques. Anytime, whether it be a private session, a group session, a free seminar, whatever it is, I always, always, always encourage at least somebody in the room to be filming when I demonstrate the technique and film when I do the Q&A session at the end of the day. 
and I ask them to share it on as many social media platforms as they can for the other students. It should be there that you can look at over and over and over again. That's also why if you do come to me, you can contact me 24 hours a day. I have students that will send me clips on uh, social media. Uh, Facebook is, is the best one for me. Um, where you send me stuff and I'll review it and get it back to you if you don't want other people to know that you've sent it to me. You can always ask me and say, okay, what you taught there, will that work on a slippery road if, if it's in the countryside and there's lots of murder, or if it's winter and there's lots of ice? If someone says you just come to me for a one-off day and that's it, be wary. Uh, if you are going to go on a seminar, Google the person, do a bit of reviewing, see if they've got a YouTube channel, see what social media they've got, see if anybody you know has, has been to them before, have a look around, uh, things like Yale, uh, TripAdvisor kind of to an extent, any industry-based websites that people who have been there will talk about them. Um, this clip's gone much longer than I was hoping it would do, but that's just it for this self-defense uh, myths tape, and stay safe.